That's my favorite exercise. Ladder raises. That's what gets you wide and hits the side delts. So you get that full round. I start with lightweight, keep my chest out, shrug my shoulders back, try not to use my traps. It hits the sides. Let me show you. Yeah, I'm gonna go after this. I'm doing uh, dumbbell presses. So try to stretch it out a little bit. Right now we're focusing more on you know, 8 to 12 reps. We're still not, um, doing a little bit of supersets here and there. But nothing too crazy yet. Still lifting a little bit heavy. But my shoulders have always been strong, but I don't go too heavy on them. Try to train smart on shoulders. <laughs> proportions to stage. I train each muscle as hard as the other. Be symmetrical and then be conditioned. You, you don't want to be lagging parts on stage, you just, you just look soft, your physique will look off. I have a drop down on this. Yeah, eight. So I did four with the 90s. Since I couldn't get eight on there, I went and grabbed the 70s and completed eight, set, eight reps. It doesn't matter how good your shoulders are or your back is, if you're lagging somewhere else, your physique is gonna be looking a bit off. So make sure you train each muscle as hard as you could. And if you're lagging somewhere, push that muscle harder and do it more than once a week focusing that muscle till it comes up and catches up to the others. So when I see, when I see, you know, world class bodybuilders in the cage, it doesn't matter how big they are. If they're not conditioned enough, it doesn't impress me. I like, you know, more symmetrical bodies with, you know, great condition. Even though I might not, you know, nowadays, not all the judges looking for that, but that's what I like. That's what my goal is. And it's more like, classic physique but just a little bit bigger and symmetrical. I start with lightweight, keep my chest out, shrug my shoulders back, try not to use my traps. It hits the sides. shoulders you got the front delts and then you got the side and the real delts and a lot of people come into the gym they do the shoulders all they do is presses and presses but you know you're not hitting all heads of the shoulders so you make sure you want to do some ladder raises ladder movements and then real delts to get the full development roundness of the shoulders make it look complete
you can have big shoulders, but it's just gonna be the front delts and then it's not gonna look right from the back, not complete. Still getting a minute rest in between the sets for now. I'll have to switch the routines up when I'm about three weeks out. Start getting less rest, more supersets and drop sets. For now, we're still taking it easy, lifting heavy. Even though I'm trying to cut down, but we're using more cardio to cut down and then keep the workouts intense and have more volume. Except for one day of the week, I do um, a circuit training where I do four, three, four exercises back to back. Well, I'm trying to get as lean as possible, and um, it's something, yeah, it's something different. It helps with the endurance, and um, it's more likely to deplete the muscle because that's the day before. It's on my low carb day, pretty much, and I get a cheat the day after, and the rest day, actually, the day after, with a cheat meal on that day. So it helps me get fuller and then recover faster. I've been doing it for the past few weeks. It helps a lot. Uh, build the upper back. So when you hit that back double bicep, makes it look good. I've always liked to do it like, it's like I want to bring it in front of me right here. So it takes a little bit of the traps out and you're focusing more on the rotators, the shoulders. Instead of doing them here, you're using more traps going up. And we're already doing shrugs for traps. 